Hi guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. I recently did a stackery haul and inside my stackery haul was my new Motum A6 planner. A6 is a new size for Motum and it's got 30 millimeter rings, which means I can stuff this bad boy full. So this is the one that I've currently been using. This is a print pression one. This is one I bought in the sale. I think it was $20. Um, I just wanted to try the size. I love the size. So now I'm going to move into my Motum. And I thought I would do it with you guys. So if you didn't watch my haul, this is a Motum A6 planner. It's got lots and lots of pockets, pockets here, zip pockets, loads of pockets at the back, in there, in there, some more card slots. And then you do get, um, you get a fly leaf and you get some note paper. So I'm just going to take this fly leaf out and I'm also going to take this note paper out. And what I like to do with those is I've got these big chunky paper clips so I'll just keep all of that together and what I'm gonna do how am I gonna do this how do I want to do this I think so I'm gonna take all of this out of here and take that off um I have got these inserts that I bought well these um dividers that I bought a while ago from cloth and paper but when I tried to put them in there they stuck out too much so I just want to see what they look like in here perfect they slide under the pen this is a pen from simply gilded box it's absolutely stunning love this pen so what i'm going to do now guys is play some footage of me setting up my a6 motum by deciding what i wanted to keep and what i didn't want to keep out of my print pressions planner and then straight after the footage which you're about to see i'll then come back and do a flip through of the completed setup i really hope you enjoy this guys and i'll see you in a minute of my setup Motum A6 Lux rings with the 30 millimeter rings inside. As you can see, I have chunked her right up and I love her. I really, really do. It's, she's so soft. I love the color. And this is my opening page. As you can see, you've got a zip pocket here. I haven't actually got anything in the zip pocket at the moment. And I do want to buy a little ta tassel or tab or something to put on there. In here, I have my rose gold circle dots, which I would like to use on my calendar view. I have some bows here from Fila Fabulous and just a little mini kit there from Two Little Bees. I like to keep this in there just in case I want to do some out and about planning. So they live in there. Then I have these cards which say noted to do and memo and they are from cloth and paper. The to do's got lines and the memo's got lines but the noted hasn't. 
then in here I've got a picture of me and my husband and some little transparent dots that I do use in my planning. So I start off with a piece of acetate over the top of this gorgeous dashboard, which was from, um, what's it called? Planner Press, Pla Planner Press's subscription. Then we go straight into my inbox and I've got a few of those in there. And then another piece of acetate over this also from Planner Press. And then this is a top tab of my next actions list. As you can see, I've got side tabs. These are from cloth and paper. And I do have a couple of top tabs, which I made myself in here as well. So that is just to-do lists for my next actions when I do my weekly routine. This is a dashboard from the Royal Planner. This is a card from, I believe, the Planner Spot subscription. And this is a Moon Crescent Silver from Simply Gilded. I just thought that looked nice in there. Then I bought this uh, B decal from, I think, The Range. And then I have this die cut, Forget Wednesdays, We Wear Pink, Seven Days a Week. I just liked it on there. Then I've got my weekly planning routine a mind sweep and a monthly planning routine. And then I've got this getting things done method quick reference guide card. But I am gonna be doing a video on this method soon. These are just some sticky notes that I printed out myself. And I've got a monthly vellum tab there. And then this, I did this, uh, no, somebody made this for me. I can't remember who. Um, got some silver bow acetate and then that dashboard is also from the Royal Planner. This is my monthly view. These are from Peanuts Planner Co. I use these because I like the habit trackers. And then I have, where is it? I have appointments and things. And then I tried out a different way of using it as well. Uh, with just appointments, studying, important dates. So I'm not sure which way I'm going to use these, but I wanted to try out both ways. I've just got a little Ollie clip there holding these together because they're both October and these run through till the end of the year. This is all in my schedule tab. Then I've got these pre-planning inserts from, I believe, Jacinia Printables. I'm not sure. No, they're not from Jacinia Printables. I can't remember. And I like it because I can just write things messy in there and a list there. And then we go. I've got those printed out for the rest of the year. And then we get into my weekly planning. So this was also from the Royal Planner. And I just use it as a little page marker. I've punched it so this bit sticks out the top. These inserts are from Jacinia's Printables and this kit is from Sweet Quiet Designs. I'll link the plan with me video that I did. This is just me pre-planning what I want to do for the week. And then I move things across to my Stalogy that I use daily. And then I can also use it as memory planning in my Hobonichi Cousin. So I've just got a month's worth of these printed out. And then I have my next little dashboard, which I made the top tab daily. Uh, Let's do this was a free vellum from, free printable vellum from, I can't remember. I'll try and find out. Then I've got these tabs in here that are from Villa Beautiful. I like to write things down on these and stick them on. These are just some today inserts from Peanuts Planico that if I have a busy week or a busy day, I've got these ready to go. This is also from the Planner Press. And then I've got a cleaning tab and a dashboard from the Royal Planner. I have my cleaning schedule written down in here. I have some reoccurring tasks. This is also a Peanuts Planner insert. And then I just have a list of some family meals. The next tab in here is lists. This little 
bookmark here is actually from Hobonichi and they're little tiny book darts, but they're so thin they don't book up they don't bulk up your planner at all. They're really thin. And I have done a Hobonichi haul, which I will also link up in the cards if you're interested in watching that. This dashboard, I can't remember who it's from, but it is so me. It's in rose gold and it says, glass of wine, true crime, planner time, bed by nine. I love a bit of true crime. So, yeah, this is the list. So I've just got some blank paper in here because I haven't actually got any lists I need to write at the minute. Next section is the projects tab. And again, I've used this star acetate. This is hollow foil over the top of this dashboard which is from the planner press and then we have some more notes paper and then we go into some project ideas so my christmas planner 2021 planners uh, i've got a moving house list a moving day kit just little projects that are going on at the minute Next section is finances, and I have some more sticky notes here. I've just got some lists, some online orders, some to buy. If I don't want to write it straight down in here, I have a page for coupon codes, um, some purchases that I made, and these are ones that go into my stackery, so I like to write them down. I also like to write down what I've bought, because I forget, because some of these companies take like up to four weeks. This is a list of my subscription boxes. And then I've got some more blank paper. Then this was my daughter's birthday in September. And this is my daughter's birthday in October. So when they're finished, I can just pull this out. I made this little removable tab using a happy scrappy tab over the top of a removable, removable tab like, let me show you. So like things like these. Oh, let me, that one's stuck. So these, you just cut off the pink bit and then you can stick whatever you want on there. I've also got a savings tracker in here, which I do need to start filling in. But to be fair, I don't think that's gonna happen until after Christmas now. Got this little die cut from Craft Delicious Loves, and this is my goal and ideas section. Another piece of acetate, another dashboard from the Planner Press. I just loved her um, release. Her, I think, yeah, this was the beginning of October, so I used pretty much everything. Um, I have got my goals in here again. I've done a video on my goals and the 12 week year method and I will link that in the cards and these are all my goals and my actionable steps and this is my weekly review which I need to go back and fill in because I've done some weeks now these are my bedding buddy body measurement body measurements which again I need to do I've got some doctor's visit inserts in here I've got a period tracker and then I've just got a blank like monthly um, insert here. Some contacts there, which got a little password tracker. And then we go on to the miscellaneous section. And this is just some silver bow acetate, some more sticky notes. I've got all my uh, study schedule printed down, um, a little note on how to change insert sizes so if you want to print screen that then that's really useful to change any insert then i just have a few notes on planner shops and scripts that i've bought that i can use this dashboard is from the royal planner and then we get into my little doggy section this is my pooch zeus and this just has vet details and visits and stuff this is another dashboard from the Royal Planner. And then I've got my YouTube section here. So some YouTube ideas. It's just what I keep in here. And then I made this washi dashboard 
got the fly leaf that came with the planner and I've just got like a little mild liner that I like to use there. Um, I've just stuck on these little cloth and paper flags. I've got this card that I think came from the planner spot and these little things, they need laminating. Bad one, show you. They need laminating, but uh, they're printables and you can just go ahead and print and type in what you want to put on each one and then they just fit perfectly in there then in this back pocket i've got some of the little stickers from the planner spot what i get in the um subscription box so i like to keep those up front and then this little set of stickers from notes and clips which they sit in there and then in this secretarial secretarial pocket here i have this a6 weeks 2021 hobonichi supplement planner so i'll be using that in 2021 and i just put this little bat on there so he can sit a bit lower down. This pen is from Simply Gilded. It's from the last subscription box and it's absolutely stunning. And it, I think it just looks so pretty in here. And then in the back pockets, I just have a piece of removable, a piece of um, the backing of sticker papers. So when I do my plan with me, so I can just pull out what stickers I want and put them on there to make it a bit easier. And then I have this little A6 notebook from Hobonichi and this is the Tomo River paper. And then also, if you see this little arrow here, down that line, they're perforated. So you can just take them out without ripping the book. And that just lives in the back for any notes that I want to take. So that's it, guys. That's my new planner setup. I'm absolutely in love with it like really in love with it i do want to get some top tabs and i probably will end up having to replace these because they are um only cardboard and they won't last they won't last but that is her i can fit her on the second tab but i choose just to give it a bit more room to put it on the first one and yeah, there she is. That's the A6 Motum Lux Planner. I do have this adorable little fox paperclip at the bottom. That came in a So Cute Planner uh, subscription, which is in my Stackery Hall, which I will link above. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I do a number of different kinds of videos, all planner related on my channel. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in my next video, guys. Bye.